Niori. Shion. I... Hey! <laughs> 
Well. What happened just now? Normally you'd be able to take that thing with your eyes closed. Uh, thank goodness you're alive. Are you alright? Yeah. I'm just glad we found you in one piece. You were the only one still missing. There's a village back the way we came from, Thistleim. Kisara and La are already there. Linwell, where are we? Ganeth Haros, Walron's realm, remember? Ushered by the waves straight to the enemy stronghold. A rare stroke of luck, it would seem. Luck? If Volron's here, that means Shion's close too, right? Shion? Oh. Right. Of course. Are you sure you're feeling okay? You seem a little... off. <sighs> He's probably just exhausted. Let's save the catching up for when we're back at the village. We won. It's populated by Danans, but they're not under the rule of any lord. Pretty refreshing, huh? The whole town was built by Danan defectors, escapees from elsewhere. This area's teeming with stray zoogles, though, so heaven only knows how they managed to set up a community here. The ordeal seems to have left them understandably on edge. Kisara and La are back there right now, trying to convince them of our good intentions. Say, hey, Elfin, it looks like you got your face back then. Yeah. And your sense of pain, too, it would seem. Any connection? Really? Oh, but that means... Probably. <sighs> I wonder if Elfin's going to be okay. I believe we should hold off on speculation and simply keep an eye on him. Right. You're saying we should check the owl forest? Elf 
Finn! Boy, am I glad to see you safe! Well, did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. When the ship sank, I thought we were done for. Guess the world just couldn't keep us apart. Yeah, and now we can finally go rescue Xion. There's something I need to tell you guys first. I... I got my memory back. So, what did you remember? Are you able to tell us now? Give the man some space, Law. I... I remember being up on Lenigus. Go on. I was abducted from Dana. I was told if I ever wanted to return home, I'd have to cooperate. So... So that's what I did. Next thing I knew, they had made me into the Sovereign. You mean to say you won the Crown Contest? As a Danon? No. They kept me locked in a strange facility. They experimented on me, like I was nothing more than an animal. There were others, but only I survived. Of course, I wasn't really a king. The reality was that they treated me worse even than the lowest slave. The only reason I survived was because my body was able to withstand the Sovereign's power that they placed inside me. The crest that appeared behind you on Almadria's ship must have undoubtedly been that of the Sovereign. It all makes sense now. Your affinity with the Blazing Sword and the strange powers you possess, they were all because you were the Sovereign. Okay, but why would the Renans go out of their way to give you all that power? Just what exactly does being the Sovereign entail? They said it was for something called the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. They taught me how to harness my power for when the big day came. As for what the ceremony was actually for, unfortunately, I... Never found out. So if what you're saying about being on Lenigus is true, then maybe you really did meet Xion. After all, you said you recognized her from somewhere, right? But Xion said she'd never seen him before. How do you explain that? I was wrong. It wasn't Xion I knew from Lenigus. It was Nayori. She was a Renan maid and they paired me with during the spirit channeling ceremony. She's the woman I kept seeing in my dreams. A maiden? What? Wait, so this Nayori figure just happens to be the double of Xion? Bit coincidental, isn't it? Naori's family name was Imeris. Imeris? As in Xion Imeris? So they're distant relatives or something? Wait, or are they sisters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is it was Naori. She's the one who put the mask on me. The mask? But why? Keep my soul from devouring itself over the guilt.
After I... After what I did on Lenicus. Over the lives I took. <gasps> lives? You mean... You staged a rebellion? Perhaps it was a part of this spirit channeling ceremony? I don't know. Whatever it was that the spirit channeling ceremony was supposed to achieve, it didn't turn out as planned. I lost consciousness halfway through. By the time I came to, Lenigus was a sea of flames. I opened my eyes to see Naori there, weeping. <laughs> I shudder to think of how many deaths I caused that day. Certainly more than any of these lords can claim, I'm sure. You really expect us to believe this? First the Sovereign, then Lenigus? You couldn't possibly have done all that. I wonder. In ancient scripture, there is tell of a terrible calamity that befell Lenigus, nearly destroying it. The restoration took years and required the work of countless laborers. By ancient, you mean... It predates the Crown Contest, to a time before even the first Renan invasion of Dana. More than 300 years ago. 300? But that'd make Alfin... <laughs> That's right. Pretty much an antique of a human being. Deep down, maybe I already knew. Alfin. Some hero, huh? Cooperating with the same villains who snatched me from my home, committing mass slaughter, only for it to slip my mind. Then when I finally remember, turns out I'm so old I've got scripture written about me. So much for standing up to injustice. I've probably got more blood on my hands than all the lords combined! Alfin, stop! Honestly, I'm not going to pretend to understand what all this means. But what I do know is that right now, you're just reacting to the shock. Listen, what you really need is time. Time to process things and get your head straight. Truth be told, I think that probably goes for all of us. What about Xion? We can't just... I'm worried about Xion too, Law. But it's clear that Alfin's in no fit state to fight. This is Volron, remember? Even at full capacity, it's practically a suicide mission. We stay put in the village till we're ready. Okay, everyone? Take some time to think things through, okay? But remember, we're all here for you if you need us. No matter how dark things might seem, you're not alone, Alfin. Thank you. It's fine. All right, everyone. Let's break for now. 